¡Ay! ¡Qué rico bandolero! Y dice... A practice module offers us students the opportunity to engage with ideas and theories from other courses and to apply them in a context of a city in the Global South. This year, for example, we took our students to Tarapoto. Tarapoto is a small city in north-central Peru, in the heart of the Amazon jungle. We met many stakeholders and began engaging in conversation. Our shared purpose is to explore how the growing city of Tarapoto can develop into a prosperous, inclusive and sustainable city. Our students were organized into four groups. One did a study of Tarapoto as an urban context for economic development. One looked at agro-processing in general. One group studied the coffee and cocoa industry and one group studied tourism. Students begin their desk-based research in London and develop a framework of analysis. This guides their research in the field. Each group is assigned a minibus and a driver, a facilitator and a translator. They typically conduct interviews, visit different places and speak to lots of people. So the activities that we engaged with, um, uh, first it was and it is reading about economic uh, development theories. Uh, we also did uh, a lot of qualitative research with interviews with locals, officials and entrepreneurs, whether it was citizens or actual business people. Um, a lot of data gathering, statistical analysis as well. We found out that the theory um, that drew the base of our project, uh, that's the theory was agglomeration economies, sharing matching learning, those concepts. Uh, the interviews really gave us a good idea and insight of how the economy works there. Um, it was really interesting to speak with the people that actually live there because obviously we didn't know much about the region. So we mainly did interviews and field visits. So we tried to see or meet with as many people on the value chain as possible. So anywhere from a rice farmer to an entrepreneur and agro-processor to market vendors, um, all the way to academics and government uh, and people who are in charge of export and retail. Our research uh, activities while we were there was mainly in primary research as per field work. Um, this mainly involved interviews with uh, local actors and stakeholders um, from the chocolate industry itself, from the um, local municipality and the Chamber of Commerce, um, as well as uh, university departments in agronomy and economics as well. As part of our primary research, our interviews were open-ended as we didn't want to bias the research in any way. Before going to Tarapoto, uh, we did um, secondary research uh, such as reading articles and developing um, analytical framework. And in Tarapoto, we conducted interviews uh, with many stakeholders such as uh, regional governments and business associations and private sectors and we did uh, many interviews every single day. The field trip culminated in a major event where our partner university, the National University of San Martin, invited us and our students to present their findings at a lecture hall, which was attended by many of their students, many of their faculty members, and stakeholders from Tarapoto. Um, one of our biggest findings was that communication between different people that are in charge of this sector is really lacking. So everyone, um, even though there are people who are engaging in the sector, there are entrepreneurs who are doing agro-processing, the sector is really starting. People are having a hard time um, finding out finding resources for um, how they can grow their business. There is a, a quite a few disconnects between um, government, between the business sector, and between academics in general. I think one of my biggest takeaways from it is that there are a few different kinds of sectors, um, and it's not just agro-processing, but it could be different sectors, that are, have quite a multiplier effect. With this sector in particular, we saw that they were reaching into 
uh, all sorts of other all sorts of other sectors. So by building up kind of one or a couple of key um, sectors, you really have the opportunity to increase at, at a much faster rate um, economic development within the whole region because you are now able to employ and engage people uh, at all levels of skills, at all levels of wages, um, in in a way that you weren't able to before. We can see that they rely a lot on entrepreneurship as a whole. Uh, there is a need for the summary, there is a need for better, more efficient development. Uh, the development of infrastructure, whether it's water management, um, road building, that could be like physical infrastructure, but as well uh, like the banking industry, the credit system is not very uh, uh, efficient for most of the citizens. Um, we, we saw as well that there was a problem with internet within the city that's just very specific, but in the 21st century we know how internet is important. Um, so the expansion of alternative sources of finance as well for entrepreneurs and private citizens, um, the better human capital creation as well as um, uh, an improved probably um, learning uh, and learning system and environment for edu like starting with education but obviously universities and well primary school and middle school comes in as well but we will see like we're at the university level so we can see that maybe that would be more important for the human capital to develop properly. Through our research we found that the coffee and cacao industries were primarily in the investment stage of competitive advantage um, with innovation, um, although we did find evidence of innovation it wasn't quite as um, present as investment. Um, so past building off those findings we recommended um, a, uh, a forum for different actors within the city to gather investment and encourage innovation within the industry. From studying the cacao and coffee industry in Tarapoto, we learned that um, industrial development within uh, the urban context uh, requires a lot of investment and a lot of coordination between different actors. We felt like these general themes were relevant and interesting to us for wider regional economic development, um, and we think they're applicable to different industries and different contexts as well. Of course, um, we developed a nightclub framework, and uh, actually that analytical framework uh, focused on three topics about uh, destination competitiveness, uh, social inclusion, and destination sustainability. Um, actually, these three topics are really important about uh, tourism sector and uh, poverty reduction. We found many issues in uh, three topics such as landing, gender equity, or infrastructure issues. However, we found there are most uh, critical issues, which is um, cost-cutting issues. One is mismatched capabilities and responsibilities in uh, regional and uh, local governments. And the second is there are no coordinated actions among stakeholders, such as uh, governments, uh, private sectors, or business associations. Our recommendation is that um, Tarapoto should develop a cohesive platform which can enable uh, each stakeholder can participate and discuss about what is sustainable economic growth in Tarapoto and tourism sector. We learned that many stakeholders share a vision of Tarapoto as a clean and environmentally sustainable region. We also learned that many recognize this to be a potential source of branding and regional competitive advantage. I believe students learned a great deal about the challenges of conducting field-based research, about putting concepts and theories of economic development into practice, and about co-creating and self-managed teams. And that, I believe, is great experience to have for conducting research in different contexts. Oh,